Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExitAutomation.com. This is part 14 of our Coded UI video series. So in this part, we are going to record web application in Coded UI testing. So far, in our previous part, we were discussing about recording a Windows application. Also, we did a hand coding of a Windows application, and also we worked with the UI test control to generically identify a control and performing an operation on a generic control using UI test controls. But from this part onwards, we're going to fully discuss on web applications because web application is a very important part of automation. If you take Selenium or QTP or Test Complete, whichever tools you take, they focus mainly the web applications because web application is the next generation application development platform where all the applications are running right now. So from this part onwards, we're going to fully discuss only the web applications and whatever videos in this video series we're going to discuss is going to be only on the web applications. So before starting this part, I would request you to watch part four because that part will discuss on how to record a application in using Coda UI Test Builder. So I'm not going to test about Coda UI Test Builder here. I'm just going to record and playback and we're going to perform the operation straight away instead of wasting time on dealing with what Coda UI Test Builder is all about and how to perform a record operations and how Coda UI Test Builder records the other stuff. So all those things we are going to discuss in this part. So we're just going to record a web application in this part. So recording a web application is more like recording a Windows application as discussed in the previous video of this video series. But here we will see the all new HTML control class instead of Windows control class. So this is what is the only change which we'll see. But we'll see there are a lot of other changes as well. Like we'll be starting to use the filter properties while searching an application's property instead of just search property which we used in the bin controls while discussing the calculator application record and playback right so for performing a web application recording and testing a web application i have exclusively created a web application in our executeautomation.com which will have all the controls whichever you will encounter while working with a web application. So all these controls has been created in that particular pages so that we can keep working in that particular page instead of hunting for an application which has those controls. So let me open the Internet Explorer. And before opening the Internet Explorer, just one note, the record in Coda UI Test Builder is supported only in Internet Explorer, which means we can only record the user action using Internet Explorer, but not with any other browser like Firefox or Chrome or Safari or Opera. You cannot work with that. But still, you can play back the recorded test in this browser uh, using a Selenium component for Visual Studio. So we'll discuss about cross-browser testings in upcoming videos of this video series. But, but as of now, just keep in mind that to record an application using Visual Studio Code or UI Test Builder, you need to only do that using Internet Explorer, not with any other browser, right? So let me first open the Internet Explorer. So I'm opening the Internet Explorer right now. And I have created a website under execute automation domain itself. So this is executeautomation.com slash demo site slash login dot html it's a plain simple html file right you can see that it's exclusively created for automation testing for selenium but we can use it for visual studio as well so i can give any name here so i can give the username and password as admin admin and you can see that the password is not hidden because there is no authentication system itself available for this particular website. It's pretty plain HTML file, right? I'm just going to hit the login here. And you can see there's a user form for this particular application. And it has a drop down. It has some text box. It has a option buttons. It will have some checkbox as well. And there is a pop up window. And you can see there is a menu navigation to see how you can hover 
to these menu controls and there is a drag and drop option available so that you can check whether the drag and drop functionality can also be done using this Coda UI and you can see this items I can drag and drop right these are just jQuery so you can do all these things and you can also hit logout to go back to the login page right so this is just a very plain simple website developed in HTML and some of the jQuery has been used here and there so we can use this for our application testing for a current playback in Coda UI and also for hand coding the web application in Coda UI testing right so let me first go to our project so this is the same project which we have been working for a pretty long time as of now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just record and see how the recording data is being created in the UI map dot UI test file so here as you can see it holds all the calculator steps here right so let me go to this code UI test right and to record what we can do is just right click go to generate code for code UI test and hit this use code UI test builder as you already know right so I'm going to just hit that so this is our application and I'm going to hit the record and if you hit this Internet Explorer this will start recording this IE right so I'm going to say like type the username as Karthik and the password is Karthik as well and I'm going to hit this login button so this will take me to this particular page and then I'm going to just select the drop down and I'm going to perform some entry here let's say KK Karthik and just leave the middle name as this and I'm going to check the language as well I'm going to hit the save so it does nothing actually right and then let me just uh, see what else it has recorded so it has did some stuffs for us which is great so I'm going to just uh, generate this particular code and let me generate this as uh, created or recorded web method right so I'm just hit add and generate and I'm going to just close this thing right so as we all know all the recorded codes will fall in this UA matter designer.cs file so if you just open this you can see that it will add one more method for us it's nothing but the recorded web method and it will have all these uh, declarations of the methods whichever it has created but one of the important point note is it is HTML custom HTML edit HTML input box HTML combo box HTML checkbox so everything is HTML and if you see who is its parent it's nothing but HTML control and again obviously HTML control will inherit everything from UI test control as we already discussed right so let's uh, see what else it has did and it is it's performing all the click operation using mouse.click as we did in the uh, windows application as you can see here it's the same coding so mouse.click similarly it's performing a text operation right here so you can see that and also it's performing a checkbox click operations so everything is pretty same everything is mouse or click and keyboard or send keys whichever we discussed previous part of this video series while recording the calculator application so same thing no change so let's not waste our time and let's try to rerun this test and see how thing works right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to the coda device test 1.cs right so I'm just going to save this and go into the text explorer not run the test just right click this and hit run selected test so before that let's see if our application is in this state okay it is the perfect login page right now so I'm going to run this selected test so now it should type the username and password for me alright and should log in and then it's selecting and it's performing the operation as expected which is great right so this is so simple it performed the exact operation whichever we required 
and now if you go back to the UI map.ui test file you can see that there is a there, are, there is a UI execute automation INT which is nothing but internet uh, explorer window and it has a document and within document it has a custom login uh, what is it actually it's a custom control oops I'm sorry and then it has a text box oops oh I clicked this team explorer okay so it has a username edit and it has a password edit so it's everything is ID here and it has a login button and again there is a document which is nothing but is coming from a different page so once you perform a login operation it brings to the different page and there you will have the title name first name etc so same thing title combo box initial edit first name checkbox and the save button right and it's performing exactly as expected so everything is working pretty fine for us right now so that's it guys so this is all about recording and playing back the test using core UI test builder for a web application so in the next part we'll just hand code this whole stuff and see how we can perform the same operation using hand coding that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day